What's up guys? Welcome back. I'm gonna try something here. Got a barrel for for cover. Probably shove some random tree limbs that are been dead. Nothing that can uh rot crazily. Nothing green I should say. But put a pump in here. Obviously I'm gonna clean all this out, but I'm just dry fitting right now. We're gonna have a pump. Let's put a pipe through the top here and I'm gonna make some kind of waterfall head. We're gonna put a few big boulders in here to to uh, stabilize it. I mean, that pump is already pretty heavy. Set it on the bottom. I'll cut my pipe later, flush with the water level, the highest point, and we're gonna see if we can get some kind of fountain effect. As of right now, I'm thinking about cutting this square piece off. As you see, it goes, it's just hollow. If I cut that off and then maybe drill <laughs> well, it's easier said than done when using a phone, but if I drill here, 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 and here, we should have a pretty good stream, but I'm going to get multiple head, multiple tops, so ideally I'd rather have a head that screws on like this, but I don't have that, a cap I mean, but we'll use what we got. All right, we'll see what happens, but that's the general idea. Just shove a few pieces of brush in there for a little extra cover. See, we got a liner, so we got to worry about. Obviously, I'll put a piece of carpet under that. We got to worry about anything that can poke, so we don't want any bolts along the bottom or anything. I, I might end up drilling some, pre-drilling some holes to where I can put another barrel attached to it. You know, have a series of barrels facing all different directions down there. You won't be able to see them; they'll get they'll turn green. So, this is what we're trying for a waterfall. Let's see what happens. And that, that's like 4,000 gallons a, a minute or an hour, an hour, a minute, an hour. So that's pretty, pretty good sized pump. Obviously that's probably not going to be my height, but as you can see what I got done, I got it pretty straight. I, I can move it. I'll get her squared up, put a few boulders in there to hold it in place, but I'm going to put a, put it on a board so I can unscrew that to unplug it. I mean, this, these pumps are like really hard to plug up. So I'll have a lot of use before I have to worry about cleaning it. But I'm gonna put this in there, glue those ends and then move on. So I'm curious, it's gonna pump like crazy. I mean, if, if anything, we just cut the top off and let it just shoot straight up and, and that's what we got. I mean, no matter what, it's gonna create some aeration. So we'll see what happens. Okay, we got our glued. I even put a strap in there, sacrificed a, one of those darn iron nine straps from Menards to hold her in place until I get the, the boulders in there. We're sitting pretty good. We'll, we'll level this tube once we get the barrel in. We'll, we'll adjust the tube however we need, put whatever around it we can at the bottom to hold it steady. But once I put the boulders in there, it should be pretty heavy. We just want to make it as uh, straight as possible, but it's not going to really matter. Water's just going to kind of shoot all over the place. So. And then at some point I will shove some branches in these slots. I just cut another slot here to put some brush, just some, just to make some underwater structure. So should be awesome. Well, I'm gonna attempt to get this barrel out there without falling my face off this cliff here. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully I'll be in frame here. Let's see. Good enough. Good enough, boys. The barrel's already heavy with just the pumping it, so. Please. I let my wife inside. 
Oh boy. straight off the deck, I think, because the cord, and kind of in the center, because this is going to run all winter to keep it open. Oh. No, bro. <laughs> I'm trying to get this under the deck. Why didn't you put it down first? It's floating! Mm. I'm going to get it under there. Don't you have to put a top on the top that? Yeah, but I needed to see how deep it is. <laughs> For what? I think I'm gonna put really fast in that. No, the fountain needs to, I'm gonna put the sticks in this kind of water. Some sides. Swim, boys. Cockerbird got me out there. 
Who's on that garbage? Really smooth rocks to put under it to kind of level it. It's got a little bit of a bow in the bottom there, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm not terribly displeased with that right there, to be honest. It makes a lot of splashing and obviously, obviously I gotta cut the pipe down. But I'm thinking I'm gonna reduce uh, an inch and a half to two inch. Um, and then put a cap on there and drill some holes. But I kinda like the way that will look when it, if it's lower to the who knows, I might leave it like that. What do you think? That's loud. Stirring the water up. Well, either way, we got some more aeration just for, just because. Uh, these pumps are on sale at Menards. I buy a lot of my stuff from Menards. I'm not, obviously not sponsored by them, but it's the closest store. My nephew works there. And I recognize a few of you recognize me at Menards and stop me that work at Menards up there in Council Bluffs, Iowa. So I appreciate you stopping me. But uh, 80, 88 bucks for the pump, why not put it in? I mean, well, might as well. It's only a third horsepower. So while I'm here, here's what we got done with the outdoor kitchen. Haven't done a whole lot. Got a roof on it. This is all reclaimed tin. So it's dirty, need to power wash it, but hey, we got a roof. Just got one little piece back there to put on. So, see. I think I'm very happy with it. $88 pump, piece of PVC, a couple of fittings, a barrel, and you see what you got. I see, I'm in a lot of pond forums on Facebook and a lot of them are really expensive for a floating pump. I, I know where my water level is gonna be. I'm gonna add a hose to it until it runs out the effluent. It'll never be higher than that. It'll always just either be that high or, that, or lower. So, pretty happy with it. I knew, I knew I would be okay with just a straight up shooting out of the pond, but I'm gonna play around with the man's and see what kind of uh, thing we can get going. So you'll see it in the future. Appreciate you guys watching the pond. We're getting ready to switch over to trap and it's coming guys. We're really close. We are getting ready to focus my afternoons in the shed making baits and lures. You guys know I make baits and lures for trapping. There's a lot of orders coming in already. Everybody's getting that itch. The cooler weather is it's where it's at. So, all right, appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned for more videos.